What's going on, smart people? In a previous video, I talked about how it's okay to not know what you want to do with a physics degree when you first get started. Uh, in fact, it's, it's pretty expected, but at some point, you really need to start exploring the different fields and find out which one gets you the most excited. So today, I'd like to share where I began thinking about my future in physics so that this serves not so much as a template, but as an example for those of you who might feel like you might be behind or just want a reference. I should mention now that since I'm going the grad school path, I don't feel that I'm well-versed enough on the path leading into industry to really talk about it in a video, but I will at some point, I promise. Okay, where to begin? I've already made a video on how to find out what physicists are researching, so using that as a jumping off point, you know what the different fields are, you might know what people are trying to solve, but when should that curiosity that you have become more focused? When should it be directed at a specific field? Well, you can relax a bit because you've got time. It's okay to have a broad list of interests early on in your undergraduate physics career, but I found that a great way to narrow down that list is to do an internship, and if you say that you want to do grad school, you got to get one anyways. Sure, your internship will probably be in one specific field, but you'll be able to speak to people who are in others. When I did my internship in accelerator physics, I went to seminars on things like astrophysics, nuclear and particle physics. I went to everything I could, that way I could find out what sounded boring and what kept my interest. I reached out to other faculty members at the lab I was working at so I could speak with them more so about their field. One of the people that I spoke to who was in nuclear physics is now my mentor for my current internship. I should mention that before this I had an idea that I wanted to do theoretical physics. I didn't know in what specific field, but I knew that I preferred the math side of physics more so than the experimental side. So that happened. To be honest, I'm not quite sure when I made that decision. It might not have even been a real conscious decision. I just knew that I didn't really like working with my hands too much, and I really enjoyed looking at pretty math. So maybe you will have had a similar experience to just saying there was some innate uh, draw towards one side or the other. I'm not sure. If not, then I'm sure an internship will still help with that as well. And for those of you who don't know if you want to go to graduate school, I highly recommend going for a research internship because, well, grad school is all about research and you need to find out if you like it in the first place and just sitting around saying, yeah, grad school is just such a commitment, I don't know if I'm ready for it. Well, if at the end of the research internship you find out you don't like research, well then that decision's made for you. Don't go to grad school. Another benefit to doing the internships is that I got to go to a conference to present what I did, and at that conference I got to go to a graduate school fair. So I got to hear sales pitches from a bunch of different grad schools saying what they had to offer, and that's what sort of directed me into thinking, oh wow, I need to what do I want to do with my life? That's sort of when it hit, when I started to know not all grad schools offer the same thing. When that starts to be a thing you're thinking about, that's when stuff gets pretty real. Now, to establish a little bit of a timeline, my internship was the summer of my third year of physics, so going into my fourth year, and that conference was October, late October of my fourth year of physics. So I wasn't thinking really about what I wanted to do specifically until my fourth year. I had a basic idea before that. I knew that I liked nuclear physics because I'd seen what people were working on, it kept my attention, it looked like the math was cool, and I had this rough idea that astrophysics would be cool because I like general relativity, and that's really all that held together the astrophysics side of things for me. Now we are nearing the end of my first semester of fourth year physics. Took me five years to graduate, but my fifth year was fourth year physics, if that makes sense. And at this point, I know that I like theory. I think that I like nuclear theory because of my exposure to it. I know I like general relativity, but I don't know how that applies to careers, maybe astrophysics. I know I don't want to do data analysis. And that's where I was at when it became time to apply to grad schools. So towards the end of the physics degree, I still didn't know what I wanted to pursue professionally in physics, but I could articulate a narrow scope of interests. So when it came time to apply to grad schools, my jumping off point was finding schools that had theory departments, and that's what I started with, things that had a, a wide range of theory groups that I could apply for, as well as a few schools that placed specific emphasis on nuclear and particle theory. But Andrew, you said that you thought you liked Astro. Why didn't you apply to grad school for that? Here's a somewhat limiting aspect of applying to grad schools. In my experience, pretty much every school I applied to separated departments for physics and astronomy slash astrophysics, meaning I had to pick applying to one or the other. Yes, I could have applied to both departments, submit two applications, pay two application fees, but frankly I didn't put in the effort to learn more about the field of astrophysics to warrant applying to schools specifically for that. Not to mention, if there's communication between departments and your personal statement sounds wildly different for each, like one you say how much you've always wanted to be a nuclear physicist, and the other you say how much you've always wanted to be an astrophysicist, you're going to sound insincere. 
And now I'm graduated, I'm doing one more internship before starting graduate school, and I finally think I've decided on nuclear theory, which believe it or not, still isn't narrow enough. I still have to decide if I want to do something more phenomenological or something like lattice QCD research. I still have a ways to go, and I think obviously I'll decide more as I go through grad school, but what I'm trying to say is that there was nothing that just clicked. It's just been a process of slowly moving the needle further forward. So when did I figure out exactly what I wanted to do in physics? I'll let you know when I get there. I've kind of talked about a bunch of different things in this video, so I'll be sure to leave links in the description to videos I've made on relevant topics like how to apply for internships in the first place. Hope you guys found this video helpful, a little bit useful. Let me know in the comments section if you did, and I'll see you guys there.